Actor Tom Selleck has been an icon since the 80s, whether due to his breakout turn on Magnum P.I. or his more recent work on the show Blue Bloods. Through it all, Tom has maintained a distinctly private personal life away from Hollywood, and he often flirts with giving up acting altogether. Recently, rumors have circulated that Tom may be ready to say goodbye for real. Join Facts First as we explore the sad reason Tom Selleck is saying goodbye. Tom Selleck was born in Detroit, Michigan in 1945. His father was a business executive who also owned real estate, and his mother was a housewife. Tom had an older brother and two younger siblings. In 1948, the family moved to Sherman Oaks, California, where Tom began attending school. He graduated high school in 1962 and began attending L.A. Valley College, where he developed a successful career as a college athlete. During his junior year, Tom's success in basketball allowed him to transfer to the University of Southern California. There, he continued playing sports while majoring in business administration. While attending USC, Tom was advised by the drama coach to try out for a school play. He took the coach's advice and soon fell in love with the art of acting. In fact, Tom became so enamored of acting that he dropped out of college and began studying at the Beverly Hills Playhouse. He was adamant he was going to make it big, but first he had to deal with the Vietnam War. In 1967, Tom received a draft notice that his services were required in the war. This led to the aspiring actor joining the California National Guard. While there, the future star served in the 160th Infantry Regiment and held the position for several years. In 1973, Tom was released from his services and was ready to pursue acting full-time. He had appeared on the dating game before his service and had managed to find time to perform in bit roles on film and TV during his service years. One of Tom's most notable roles in the 70s was a recurring turn on the TV series The Rockford Files. He played a private investigator named Lance White, and the attention he garnered from this recurring role led to more promising roles in film. As an avid outdoorsman, Tom had always had a rugged appearance that translated well to action and western roles. In 1979, he was cast in his first Western. This was The Sackets, which also starred Western legends Sam Elliott and Glenn Ford. Following this, he appeared in the 1982 Western The Shadow Riders. The actor continued performing in Western films and TV shows throughout his career. The role of a cowboy certainly isn't the only one Tom has been typecast as over the course of his career. He's arguably better known as a police officer than a man of the West. While he had portrayed a private investigator previously on the Rockford Files, his reputation as a man of the law is mostly due to his breakout starring role on the 1980 show Magnum P.I. Magnum P.I. was a giant success and saw Tom portraying a cool cop patrolling the streets of Hawaii. The cop's name? Thomas Magnum. The series lasted for eight seasons, yielding 163 episodes over the course of its run. In 1984, Tom won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Despite all the success and attention granted to Tom as a result of his role, Magnum P.I. also had some negative effects on his career. He had been one of the top two choices for the role of Indiana Jones, but his Magnum P.I. contract prevented him from taking on the role. After eight seasons, Tom called it quits on Magnum P.I. and married his second wife, Jilly, in 1987. He'd been married once previously to Jacqueline Ray. Tom and Jacqueline were married from 1971 to 82. Though they had no children of their own, Tom adopted Jacqueline's son from a previous marriage. Tom has remained married to Jilly since 1987, and the two have one daughter. That daughter is named Hannah, and she was born the same year Tom quit Magnum P.I. Tom has always preferred a life of seclusion. After Hannah's birth and the end of Magnum P.I., he spent a lot of time with his family in the outdoors. He's continued practicing the habit of spending time out of the spotlight, and many have wondered when this will lead the aging actor to finally call it quits. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. In 1990, Tom returned to film with the hit western Quigley Down Under. His role in the film was a major success and has gone down in history as being almost as iconic as his turn in Thomas Magnum. The actor starred in several other films throughout the remainder of the decade, but his most notable role during the period was arguably his turn on Friends. Tom took a recurring role as Monica Geller's boyfriend. Though it made him as popular as ever, he saw it as a step back from his serious film career, 
and he subsequently fired his agent. Tom worked steadily after the turn of the century and stepped back into the spotlight in a big way with the 2010 police procedural Blue Bloods. The show became a comeback vehicle for Tom after years of slightly waning popularity and is still being produced today. He portrays the character of Frank Reagan. The show is set to air its 12th season in October of 2021, though its future after that remains tenuous. Rumors have circulated in the past few years that Tom may be looking to call it quits on acting for good. When he's not filming Blue Bloods, Tom spends as much time as he can with his family at his California ranch. He still loves the outdoors and likes watching the crops grow while performing menial labor around his land. He's made more than enough money to decide he never wants to act again, though something still keeps drawing him back to the screen. There have also been rumors he's hard at work at a scandalous tell-all memoir that would give intimate details about his numerous Hollywood affairs. With his macho mustache and tough guy demeanor, Tom has won over the hearts of his female co-workers just as easily as he's won over the hearts of TV audiences. In between his two marriages and during the height of his magnum P.I. fame, he's been said to have gotten up to some risky business. Although Tom may be a womanizer, he's claimed he has moral values that exceed those of his Hollywood brethren. He sees himself as an old-fashioned kind of guy, which is why he likes to spend most of his time outdoors. The TV star has also never quite fit in at Hollywood parties. Those around him can certainly see why he prefers to spend most of his time within the quiet solitude of his ranch with his family. When asked if he has plans to retire, Tom has said he's willing to let Blue Bloods run its course for however long the fans are willing to watch. It appears Tom is finding it easier, in his old age, to find a healthy balance between work and personal life. Blue Bloods has already been on the air for longer than Magnum P.I. In the meantime, he isn't getting any younger. The actor turned 76 years old in 2021 and has been acting for over five decades. He has stayed healthy throughout the years, which one could easily attribute to his relaxed and low-key lifestyle. The 12th season of Blue Bloods is set to premiere in October of 2021, though it's uncertain if any more seasons will follow. If what Tom has said is true, the show will continue producing new episodes so long as the fans keep tuning in. But Tom could decide at any moment that he's ready to retire full-time to his ranch. Tom Selleck has appeared in many more films and TV shows than the ones we've mentioned, so comment down below to share your favorite role from his career. Or if you think it's time the actor finally gave it up and lived the life of peace and solitude he's always dreamt of. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.